Alrighty guys, how's it going? Right now we are going to take and cover the best slug round class setup for the Model 680. We just got done uh, showcasing the 725 slug round class setups and now this one right here is next. So as I said in the 725 video, that over under shotgun has got to be hands down the best shotgun to run slugs with for most of these shotguns including this one. It, it to me it's just it's really not worth it but maybe that's something you're into so i messed around with most all the attachments and various combinations and this right here seems to be the most well-rounded versatile slug round setup for this shotgun starting right out the beginning we gotta take and throw on the slug round so now this basically has the exact same i think it is the exact same uh description for the slug rounds as a 725 with a 30 meters uh zero next we'll scoot over to under barrel to be throwing on the xrk true grip tactical for the recoil control and you actually do get improved ads time with that as well but the the accuracy and recoil control that you gain from that is our main target then going up to muzzle we're going to be throwing on the compensator because we're dealing with a single projectile we ain't talking about buckshot and now unlike the 725 we're going to be going with the barrel on this one because the barrel accomplishes a lot of things you get improved range and now look even looking at the damage you see a slight decrease but i actually noticed that with this because of the accuracy and the range i ended up getting a lot more one shot kills with this barrel as opposed to whenever i was using the stock barrel or the swap barrel but more importantly you get a much more user friendly iron sight sight picture so we don't have to equip an optic on this setup then we're going to be skipping the laser and the optic just like i said in case this is the first video and you haven't watched 725 the lasers are pretty useless uh, because even with it, it does tighten it up a lot as it should, but it, the, the slug rounds are still very unpredictable and you just, you're, you're so much better off making sure you take an ADS for every shot. And with the optic that some of the other shotguns are going to be covering, we will be using optics just because the iron sight picture is very, very difficult to use with the slug rounds and it's hard to like lead your shots properly. And since we're using the longer barrel, we got a 10 round tubular magazine, so we don't really need sleight of hand with this. We got plenty of rounds, more than most of the time you'll be able to use it once and then you should have plenty of time to throw a couple rounds in there after you use them. And then the stock we're going to be going with is the F-TAC Hunter for the aiming stability, the improved accuracy, and the improved control because you know when you're using slug rounds you're not after a super fast ads time even though you need to ads more you just have to focus on pre-aim because you need the attachments that help improve your accuracy and your control as opposed to your ads because with these slug rounds you get a lot more recall and uh, like with this shotgun you're going to normally have to result to doing a two-shot kill so those follow-up shots uh the time in between that's very 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 important right there is what this shotgun looks like after you got all these attachments thrown on there and then for a full class run now we got the model 680 set the way i just showed you guys for x16 we got it set up the way i showed an x16 class setup video but just like with this one i hadn't thrown old damascus on there yet and then uh, for the perks, we got EOD Hardline Shrap. For the lethal, we got a frag grenade. And for the tactical, we got a stun grenade. Okay, so we got Azure Cave Free For All. Now, this is a map I don't think I have run any of these shotguns on with slugs. And this is a map that I have rarely got for Free For All, so I'm not super familiar with the spawn points but you know what we'll take and run and gun it and we'll just see how she blows this is going to be kind of a good test because there's a lot of uh i'd say mostly medium range engagements that you that you get into depending on what side of the map you're on when you're in the cave there's like there's some pretty long distance stuff especially for a shotgun even with the slug rounds because i mean anything beyond like mid medium range and the the longer end of medium range you're still going to be working on uh two shot stuff this guy right here we're going to just barrel stuff him unless he knows what, oh okay I'm about to say we're, we definitely got to make sure we get him since we wasted that stun on him um so i mean the key here is just going to be playing in around these buildings and just try to avoid you know super long engagements the other thing about this map and some of the other maps on here is you know with this one there's a lot of places uh, you know, for people to head camp, mount up, all that kind of stuff, and it's really hard to win those gunfights unless you've used the shotgun with slug rounds enough to just have very good muscle memory so you can snap on people. Otherwise, you're going to end up missing most of those shots. I know I am because where I'm switching between these weapons, I'm not able to devote to any of these guns to muscle memory quite yet. And I have to, like, some of the submachine guns and ARs uh, I have. Now, right here is a great example of something I talked about with the, uh, the 725 and all these shotguns with slugs. Anything beyond close range, you're normally going to have to lead your shots a little bit. Okay, right there. I, got, I think I'm getting a little bit of a 
Got a little bit of lag, some packet loss right there, but you know what? Ain't nothing but a thing. We're bringing it up second place right now with the guy on the top of the leaderboard. Uh, he's he's three and O, so he's going to be working with some uh, some score streaks here soon. That personal radar has got to be well. I don't think it's got to be his. Well, yeah, two people's already got a personal radar now. Where am I getting shot from? Please be in here. Nope. Where? Oh, baby, right to the stomach. Get us a UAV up in here. UAV is what we need. There's two personal radars over, so I don't have ghost. So anybody near me is going to figure out where I'm at right quick, fast, and in a hurry. Where'd he go? Oh, my God. Does he not know? So two shot. Dang it, bro. So, like, it's so frustrating because, I mean, you're already using a slug. I'm going to let that blow that open and then hit that with the bippity-boppity-boop. That did not destroy that claymore. That is shocking. Okay. So that guy, he's five kills in. Oh, well, couldn't make it back to cover in time. And ranges like that, your best bet's to just to back off in general. Like, I'm still having a hard time deciding why anybody would really want to, uh, to throw on the slug rounds unless, you know... It just doesn't have a good application for most of these shotguns to me because it's like the one-shot ranges are just right there in the same ballpark as the buckshot that you get in these things. So, like, oh, let's get a little bit of a hip-fire shot on Make me feel a little lucky. But, yeah, I mean, you're in the same ballpark as the buckshot rounds. So, you're, you're better off in most, in most cases, this shotgun especially, just sticking with penis in my mouth bro why can't i why, like it's just so hard to get some of these long range shots like it just it's one of those things where it just takes so much extra practice and using the, this gun in game oh well there he is grenade please no why couldn't you went into the bathroom but you know we're still positive so it's not like this is the worst thing that they've ever put into a call of duty and i mean i remember if it was anything like the ksg i remember how much i used to love the ksg off black ops too. like that gun was amazing i did not mean to do that might as well top off the, the flipping tube, I guess. Just have all the all the ammo. There's no way we'd burn through this total of about 50 uh, rounds of slugs without before dying. Now look, my ping or packet loss one is going through the roof and not in the good way. Like put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Blow the roof off the joint. Alrighty, well, I guess nobody's nobody's out there. Let's see some. Somebody's normally always in this building right here. Like it's just. The, like a hub of this game at any time I play it no matter what game mode I'm playing Okay, we're coming up. We're about to go even and that's the, you know And that's something that's consistent. I don't think it has nothing to do with even skill but most of the Games that I've played with this shotgun set up here in particular I, I normally always I rarely ever have got above a 1.5 KD with it because just something about it I guess it's the accuracy part of it, or more or less just the fact that at a lot of the longer ranges, you end up having to, to get two shots. Because since you have slugs, you kind of have like a certain confidence that you can win longer range engagements. And oh no, me controller, I gotta stop doing that. I, I wrap my controller around my kneecap, like the wire, and I end up plugging it out. But I'm plugging it. But yeah, you just end up getting that confidence. You think you can win some of these longer gunfights, and you just, you really can't. The odds are just so against you, man. And apparently, for some reason, I've never had that big of an issue crossing that center area right there. Man, we got to pick it up with some of these kills if we want to have any shot at first place. Oh, and there's the lag. There's the lag. Game don't start lagging until I start recording. That's just the law of the universe. Okay, so we're even now. So we got. Dude, I, I don't know what to tell you. Why couldn't that guy slid up? Oh, wait, he's, he's going to be over here. And we hit the one piece of equipment dangling from the ceiling. That is a solid two inches. Why is my internet just having a stroke? Why is my internet having a stroke? But, yeah, so when you sit, when I upload the other shotgun setup videos, you'll you'll notice the um, the, mi the minor differences in them. And that guy right there, he's just he's just running around being a straight up ninja. He's just ha he's having a great time. I don't know why you would pick free for all to knife whenever. But then again, shoot the ship's not available right now. Like, shoot the ship is, has got to be the best playlist if you're working on a riot shield or a knife. Like I couldn't imagine having to do that in like the regular playlist only, like these regular playlists only. So maybe free for all is the next best. We are just getting absolutely decimated right now. Like I mean, it, it truthfully ends up being the times I do these videos are some of my worst matches. But I, st I still just rock with them anyways. Cause why not? Why not? And the like, I, I, I doubt these slug videos will get uh, get too much attention because uh, I've already got the best 
like class setup videos for the shotguns with their standard you know ammo the standard buckshot that comes in them uh, and the slug stuff is going to just kind of be a niche thing for people that really like using these shotguns or that are just kind of focusing on them at the time I hear footsteps bro the lag what like, if you're lagging that guy was already weak that's why he died from that shot but yeah if you're lagging like this it makes uh it definitely presents a challenge so if you want a challenge you know just put every device in your house or whatever it takes it may be some of you just lag in general like i tend to because i live in the middle of nowhere but there we go anytime the lag levels out that's when we start going off and i mean y'all know how it goes we're good we're, we're comeback kings man we, we, we always have a way of bringing it back at the end but in this case i don't see that happening just because we uh, had such a down period right there oh please don't see me Oh, boop! We getting rushed? Okay, you know I'm gonna chill right here. This is borderline camping, but you gotta you gotta allow for a little bit of wiggle room here, considering the time we've had so far. This guy's gonna hear me from a mile away. Where'd he go? Maybe not. There we go. Got him right in the back. Hit him right through the spine. Big old chunk of lead just went right way through him. So we're only five down. We're coming up pretty good. If only I could get a veto. How nice would that be? That would be a luxury. Having that penis in my toaster, bro. Having a having a UAV just really helps in free for all. Well, it helps in any game mode, but free for all especially. Hold me, on my banana pie. Let's just let's just keep her going. Going up through this middle section is not a good idea because of the range factor. Oh, dang it! I always have a horrible uh, time with timing those things right. Okay, so we're one we're one kill, two kills away now from being even. And to our disadvantage, that guy, okay, he's up 20, which honestly ain't that far considering how much of a lead he had on us a minute ago. The lead time, the lead time, the lead time. There we go. We still got him, though, right in the noggin. That right there is, to me, is the ideal range. And that's what I'm saying is with that in mind. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my, a hit marker that close. And still, couldn't do it. It makes me look like a sucker. That makes me so frustrated. Like, so, please, just guys, look. If this is the first video of mine you're watching, or even second video, or anywhere within the first five, like, as soon as I get past the point of doing all these class setup videos and stuff, I want to be able to focus on actually enjoying the game, like I used to with like Black Ops Three and stuff, and like dropping like seventy and O games. Because I can assure you, I'm more than capable of doing so, and I'm actually able to spend time using classes I enjoy using. But hopping on with just, just going back and forth, I'm telling you, like, if, if it's just hard to do. Like, it really is. I'm not making that up. Like, if any of you guys working on the camo grind, you'll know what I'm talking about. Because just switching back and forth, especially whenever you run into, like, class setups and stuff that don't fit your play style, it's just, it's cancerous. It's not, it's not fun. Like, getting Damascus, working on it, it's nice to experience certain weapons. But then when you get to those weapons and those classes that just you don't click with like this one it oh my now that right there that's just pure suck that's pure suck I'm gonna pop you right in the shoulder blade i'd really like to be top three though how much time's left we got 15 seconds we got a guy right here somebody's gonna push up boom are we top three no god that guy's trading out with us Man, see, if we had a regular shotgun right there, we would have got top three. But now we're going to be closing it out. Fourth place, which gives us a big old defeat. We ended up being negative. But you know what, guys? That's that's it. That's just that's just how the shotgun runs. With that, I mean, with that being said, this is still like I've had a lot worse games while working on the various forms, like the various class setups for this weapon. So uh, not one I would recommend personally. But if you want to run slugs on the Model 680 for whatever reason, this is the way to do it. So yeah guys, sorry for the poor gameplay performance, but as always, hope you enjoyed, glad to have you, hit me up in the comments, give the video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already, and until the next one, adios.